One of the many historical myths holding up the uh, legitimacy of government is, uh, is the Abe Lincoln myth. This is a great book exposing uh, the reality of Abraham Lincoln's presidency called The Real Lincoln by Thomas J. DiLorenzo, excellent author. Uh, here's a quote from Lincoln in his debate with Stephen Douglas in 1858. I have no purpose to introduce political and social equality between the white and black races. There's a physical difference between the two, which, in my judgment, will probably forever forbid their living together upon the footing of perfect equality, and inasmuch as it becomes a necessity that there must be a difference, I, as well as Judge Douglas, am in favor of the race to which I belong, having the superior position. I've never said anything to the contrary. Lincoln also said that he was not and has never been in favor of making voters or jurors of Negroes, nor of qualifying them to hold office, nor to intermarry with white people. Something uh, all of our teachers simultaneously forgot to tell us. Here is a letter from Abraham Lincoln, Honest Abe, August 22nd, 1862. If I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it, and if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it, and if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. Just incredible quotes from from someone who, uh, who who's just worshipped by uh, by your average statist. Another thing Tom DeLorenzo goes into is that um, the Civil War. Uh, Lincoln mentioned in, mentions in his inaugural address, if the South does not abide by the moral tariff. What an Orwellian name, the Moral Tariff, worse than the Patriot Act. If the South does not abide, there won't be any bloodshed. Meaning, of course, if they don't uh, uh, abide by it, then there will be a war. This is just unbelievable research done using primary sources, and it's very important uh, to, to reconsider uh, the uh, historical figures we're taught to look up to. Thanks for watching, Keith Knight. Don't tread on anyone.